Hey, how's it going all? Just back with another uh, video. Um, man, it's been a while. Um, I don't have a huge following, so I suspect a lot of people are not, you know, disappointed or anything. But, um, you know, I've uh, reluctantly had to rejoin corporate world. Um, you know, it's just one of those things where it's, it's really hard to predict, you know, when all this stuff is going to start getting crazy. And, um, you know, I was actually kind of getting bored a little bit. Um, so I'm back in the corporate world, so I got kind of busy last month or so, but you know, I'll try and post more videos and you know, just uh, give my observations on what's going on in the world. I think it's, from what I see, it's starting to become clear to even the non-religious people. And to me, this is the most telling that we're inside the kind of precipice, uh, on the, right on the edge of something pretty big happening you know and they we talk about this new world order and all these different terms end times and all that there's some major transfer of wealth and power what little is left amongst those who are not at the absolute top and we know now that the most high god is doing this whole thing um you know it's difficult to understand uh, all aspects of it obviously but you know it's um it's it's his will that power was centralized in banking and in politics and law enforcement and legal everything you know so it's just playing out it's becoming very obvious you know certainly to those who you know the few people who follow my channel and these type of videos but what i'm noticing just having conversations with people who you know don't you know um consider themselves to be like overly spiritual or religious or anything, um, overly concerned about topics of good and evil, uh, you know, they're starting to sense like something's, you know, weird, you know, like off in their jobs and, um, you know, just the uncertainty or surrounding their, their jobs and, and um, finances and relationships and, and everything, you know, it's just everything seems like off, you know, and uh, not everybody you know, is, is willing to, you know, dive deep into it. But, you know, there, there's something going on, you know, and uh, again, we don't know the exact time that all hell will break loose here in America. But, um, you know, it's, you know, it's not getting better. And, um, and certainly power is being, you know, constantly, you know, pushed upwards, um, if it's not already done so completely already. But, um, you know, I want to do a quick video on, um, you know, numerology, I guess, but like stuff that's related to, um, you know, numerology and, and things that we see every day. And basically, the way I see it is that, you know, God has a left and a right hand side. He has a left hand side that he uses for like deception, murder, evil, um, you know, exercising undue authority. Uh, basically everything lack of faith like basically the left hand side are designed and it's not their fault they were just designed to not have faith you can talk to them about flat earth you can talk about the beginning creation end times they just won't go there you know and it's not that they're necessarily even even evil sorry even evil people um you know and, and the bible does say that you know the those who are on that left hand side were ordained and the right was also ordained and we don't know who's on which side but it's starting to become kind of clear um or at least we now have some very very solid litmus test to, to test who's on what side and, and this numerology is one way again don't take this to an extreme because you know it's uh it's just you know painting with a with a with a large paintbrush so to speak but you know it's what i've noticed with this numerology is that yeah you know, i'm starting to and, and huge credit to Russian Vid's channel, which is now taken down for obvious reasons. Uh, he was pushing flat earth and, you know, helping us understand the encoding on the Freemasonry and, and all the stuff, you know, in the news and stuff. So, you know, those kind of channels uh, with the climate right now um, won't survive. And again, God's doing this. He's kind of allowing the truth to be, you know, peppered in there, but, you know, not with any continuity and, and certainly not with any strong conviction. <clears throat> Uh, like like Russian vids. He, he was exposing uh, like a lot, you know, like a lot, a good percentage of uh, the conspiracy theories. So, excuse me, this numerology 
to me, it's like, you know, I have a long drive now to this job. It's like 45 minutes to an hour. So I get to, you know, drive past a lot of different, you know, signs and, comp you know, businesses and stuff. And so I get, you know, I kind of like pay attention to this stuff more. So I want to talk about, you know, 33 and 666. So 666 is very common. Well, now, you know, especially if you're a Christian, you should probably know what that is. And it's the mark of the beast. It's a number. Uh, the six is significant because um, it represents like a deficiency, uh, I guess, of faith. Um, and seven is is like considered a more sort of whole uh, number. Like there, there's seven lampstands, you know, seven churches and um, seven spirits and, and all these kind of, you know, things which are more inclined to be of the right hand side. So, but, you know, you can, uh, you can see this 33, uh, which is Freemasonry, which is one of the groups um, that, you know, control certain things, you know, and, and I did a video talking about how spirits travel in groups and, and it's the that way on, you know, the right hand side, Jesus or Yahawashai had a group that was close to him and he traveled with, you know, with them and the left hand side, you know, it's no, no different, you know, it's like, it, it would be the same. And we, we see a lot of blind allegiance um, in, in the evil spirit world uh, playing out right in front of us, you know, people who are Trump supporters, Obama supporters, all these people, they don't even know the, that they're following, you know, a demon, you know, and, um, and that, that's, that statement alone, they wouldn't understand. But to us, you know, it's obvious now um, that that's the case. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what the consequences of that is. I'm not pretending to know that. But, you know, it's very clear if you're an adamant like Trump supporter and actually believe that he's going to bring in some some kind of prosperity or, or uh, you know, bring us back to the good old days, whatever that means. Um, you know, that that's that's insane, uh, really, to believe that right now uh, with the stuff that's going on. And Obama's the same. So, you know, starting with uh, just I just made a list of a bunch of terms like that have 33 or 666 encoding. So just starting from the top, Motel 6. Um, the M is, M is a, e, so these four letters are very important for 33 encoding. E, W, M, and C. So E, if you put it, um, if you um, uh, flip it, uh, I guess along the Y axis, you get a three. And then W, if you twist it, you get a three. M, if you twist it, you get a three. And C is the third letter in the alphabet. So E, W, M, and C are very important sort of uh, numbers in numerology and encoding for Freemasonry in particular. So Motel 6 is M, which is a 3, 3, 6. So that's three sixes, 666. Six, six. And so another group, uh, which if you're into rap music, called 3, 6 Mafia, people just think, oh, it's 36 Mafia. No, it's like 3, 6 is Mafia. So it's 666 six, six, Mafia. And so... You know, I don't know whether they obviously know that that number is important, whether they're doing it to pledge allegiance to that. You know, we don't know. That's that's God's um, uh, architecture. But um, Motel 6, 36 Mafia are encodings for 36, 666. Costco is CC, which is 33. Walmart, WM is 33. McDonald's, MC is 33. Um, Wendy's is a three. Um, Jordan, Michael Jordan is 2-3, his number, when he was, I guess, the first time around. So two threes, three three, So two threes. Larry Bird, this is more plain, or Patrick Ewing, 33. Um, it's just plain. Uh, Irvin Magic Johnson, uh, his name is Irvin Magic, which is E-M, so 33. And uh, his number was 3-2, so three. You can think of it as... Um, two threes but it's just backwards and th th these people they like to do things backwards by the way so like they'll two three and three two are kind of the same to them um like oprah is uh her thing is called oprah winfrey network own and backwards it's nwo so they get like double meaning and uh, again russian vids pointed all that out he goes into the i wish his channel was still alive it was amazing he would went into all the reasons why they they basically do everything backwards like the 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 church of satan will like recite the lord's prayer backwards and stuff so they have their own backwards theology on basically everything um wilt chamberlain again wc which is 33 uh fox news f o x f o and x are in multiples of six uh increments on the in the alphabet so f is the sixth letter you go 
multiples of six, you'll get to O, and then you'll get to X. So it's that's six, six, six. Triple X pornography, X is six. So that's six, six, six. Um, www is another good one. Like World Wide Web is three, three, three. If you just tilt the W. Um, Eldrick Tiger Woods. So Eldrick Woods is EW. That's 33. Um, so basically, like just, you know, when you're like looking around or you watch TV, especially on TV, uh, company names and stuff, you'll see a lot of like um, EWMC for Freemasonry. Fox, like F O X are significant, especially O. I see that a lot. Um, K is another important letter. Um, so just to summarize, all the letters that I would say are very significant for encoding, E, W, M, and C for 33, uh, F, O, X, or every six letter in the alphabet, but those three in particular. Um, K is an important one because it's 11. And so the KKK is like 11, 11, 11, which adds up to 33. And um, like just uh, Kim, Courtney, and Khloe, Kardashians, that's KKK. So I'm I could bet with 100, almost 100% 100 certainty they're, they're definitely a part of that whole system, you know, to distract and dumb down the population. Um, G is an extremely important letter because uh, that's a letter used for Freemasonry. And um, L is another important letter because it's the 12th letter in the alphabet. So if you think, if you see like LL Cool J or L Cool J, L and C together is 12 times 3, that's 36. Uh, and 36 is, is 666, three sixes. And so those are very important letters, you know, like just to look out for. And you can find a lot of stuff that um, fits in, you know, even Flat Earth. Um, if you go by this convention, it's 63. So it's 666. So um, I don't believe Flat Earth obviously to be evil, but it just shows the encoding because like <clears throat> that's a deception that, you know, people are hiding um, uh, and, be, and it's being uncovered in these last days. <clears throat> So, and Stoneman Douglas, this shooting, which looks more and more like it's just fake. Um, Stoneman is like stone, so like Freeman, it has some um, wording, uh, kind of alludes to Freemasonry. So, um, and actually another big one was CNN, if you tilt that sideways, kind of looks like a 33. Or a couple, few threes stacked on top of each other. And so, you know, there, there's a lot of other, anything with Mick. Like, not to throw Rory McIlroy, the golfer, under the bus, but anything with, like, Mick, MC, 33, um, you know, that's kind of interesting, you know. So there's a lot of, like, especially celebrities and stuff, like um, Eminem is a great one. MM is 33. Um, you know, um, Bill Walton is, like, I guess, William Walton, so that's WW, so it's 33. Uh, WWF is another really good one. That's 336. Um, or WWE is 333. Um, so, you know, th there's there's so many. Like, you could, I could literally spend an entire day uh, just without even, like, looking around, just brainstorming in my head different company names that I know and, um, you know, just coming up with ways that, you know, they might fit into this sort of um, nomenclature, this naming, um, you know, get it to possibly fit into this 3366 architecture or whatever so you know it's just uh it's kind of fun you know like looking you know just when you're looking around or viewing something or watching a movie and you'll see that they'll or 9-11 that number will come up you know a lot and so you know that uh you'll see it more and more so you know just look out for it you know and uh, a lot of times it's kind of peculiar why people pick certain numbers and and stuff why do the number keep showing up over and over again but you know we have to think that there's order in the left hand side even though the world seems chaotic like there's order you know in the in the, the in the evil world you know and there's hierarchies and you know it's like sometimes we don't understand uh, actually another one is cardi b uh just as an, another example um is 32 uh the c and the b and kanye west for example would be k and W, which is 11 and 3, so that's 33. So, you know, again, I'm not saying these people even know that or that this is really even applies to every um, case, but, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting, you know, to pay attention to it and, um, you know, know that really, really when I, you start thinking about it, it's like, and another one story that I've already done a video on is YMCA, the Y, um, 
I believe, you know, it kind of looks like the peace sign, which is kind of mocking Christ, but the M and the C are 33. And um, so, and even evangelical Christianity, the term evangelical Christianity, EC, um, is 33, and um, the Catholic Church, CC, is 33. And um, so, you know, again, like we could sit here and rhyme off tons. Um, uh, actually, sorry, another last one, uh, Lakewood Church, L. W C, so it has three of the major ones. So L is twelve, W is uh is three, and then church is C. So it's like thirty six, um, so six six six. So you know, and and all that kind of stuff. So you know, just keep an eye out for it. Um, you know, uh, again, this could be purely. So there, there's basically a few options here. Like they're either people that do this, like Fox six 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 x x x six six six, and all this. They could just be like kind of mocking the Bible and, and just be like, whatever, like the Bible says it, so we're just going to like goof around and get people to believe that it's true. Um, or it is, they are truly stating allegiance to 666 and the Bible is true, you know, and that, that's, that's why it's saying, that's why it's warning us that that, that, that is the case. Um, you know, or it just could be purely coincidental, you know, it's just uh, we're making too much of something that is not true, even though there's a lot of instances of it, and it's becoming more and more obvious. Now, I remember Russian Vids brought out a, an example of like, minors, I believe that were dead, and there was like five or six of them, and they claimed that all the people were 33 years old. <laughs> there was like seven or eight of them, and they all died at 33 years old. I'm like, he's like, really? Like, so it's like, God is making this obvious for those who want to pay attention to it, and um, use it as one of the many litmus tests that were in the end times.